1873, the physicist Ernst Aber described the lowermost limit of the visually perceptible, a border which he believed not even the best microscope could ever cross. His formula outlined a frontier, but it also laid a foundation for the future of microscopy. This man is a modern-day physicist. He has expanded upon Abba's formula and thus is able to venture beyond the frontier of microcosm. The groundbreaking expansion of a renowned formula. My name, My name is Stefan Hell. Hell. I have discovered that using light, one can take much more detailed pictures than previously thought. His discovery provides optical microscopes with new powers, using light as a special tool. STED, stimulated emission depletion, that's what Stefan Hell calls the principle behind his work with light. Laser beams are the light source in a STED microscope. There are two beams in a stead microscope, one that turns on the light and one that turns it off. That's the basis of stead microscopy. Thus, we are able to see fine details that so far were quite literally hidden from view. The laser light reveals even the most minuscule areas of life, such as the natural movements of a neuron. What fascinates me is that we can capture such exact images using a simple trick. As in regular fluorescence microscopes, a laser makes stained tissue like this neuron glow. The knack of the stead, a second laser, in this case red, works like an off switch. In a tiny aperture of the red laser, fluorescent green details remain images beyond the resolution of a regular optical microscope. It's great to see this, and it's great to observe certain structures in a cell which we know are potentially there, but we don't really know what they do. And yes, laying the foundations, opening the doors so that many researchers can enjoy this, that's a lot of fun. The laser lab is just one of a number of workspaces for Stefan Hell and his team. There is the microscope that receives the laser beams. In this case, imaging the movements of minute protein tubes in a cell wall. This picture is less than half the width of a single human hair. Just one of the results achieved by the team at the Max Planck Institute in Göttingen. This is really astonishing still. Even now, when I walk into the lab and see my colleagues take beautiful pictures, of course, I know it works, of course. I know that this technique provides better, sharper images, but somehow I still feel the same childlike joy as on day one. Since that very first day, STED technology has come a long way. Together with Leica Microsystems, Stefan Hell led his microscopes to commercial marketability. Now he is aiming to advance even further into the microcosm of life. One thing is certain, the border has been crossed. We can now resolve all the way down to molecular size. We didn't just push the border a little further. We're really reaching the size of molecules. That's basically all the way down to the theoretical limit. This is how microscopes pictured a cytoskeleton previously. STED technology offers a much clearer view. An image of vesicles, containers for transmitters. Stead turns it into a tiny cosmos. Still, Stefan Hell wants more. He's not just after sharp images. He wants to enable the life sciences to use Stead technology. This is why his team in Göttingen work on mice, to find out how Stead microscopes can be used on live organisms 
and thus aid in medical science. You can see structures that previously remained concealed, and that's how you're in a position to gain new insights. I can see what's going on in the cell to keep it running and healthy. With that information in mind, I can then find out what went wrong in the case of an illness. Stead microscopes could be very helpful in the treatment of cancer. Today, tumors are removed using fluorescence microscopes and the corresponding dyes. With the higher resolution of Stead, the cancerous tissue could be defined more precisely and more healthy tissue could be preserved, but that still lies in the future. Another one of Stefan Hell's teams works in Heidelberg's German Cancer Research Center, the DKFZ. The development of fluorescent dyes is critical. Inside the stained tissues, the dyes have to respond to the Stead laser light. Perfect. Because we want to turn them on and off many, many times, a lot of effort and brain power went into finding or creating dyes that would work well with optical microscopes beyond the limits of refraction. Many of my colleagues are working on the question how a dye can be turned on and off frequently so that at the end of the day it delivers brilliant images. Getting brilliant images, kind of a calling for Stefan Hell. And not just for him because his discovery has extended the capabilities of microscopy and thus of science as a whole. Labs all over the world profit from the use of light and dyes in order to picture even the tiniest structures. What started out as a historic formula and its expansion through Stefan Hell opened up a new dimension for further discoveries in the realm of science.